This patient in an intensive care unit setting is displaying myoclonic jerks primarily involving her extremities. The uh, myoclonic jerks is not consistently being activated by passive manipulation of the extremities. This is another patient who displays uh, action myoclonus involving both upper limbs two years after a respiratory arrest which occurred following an asthmatic attack. He exhibits a combination of positive myoclonus as well as some negative myoclonus or asterixis. Finally, during finger nose finger testing, he exhibits a myoclonic action tremor very characteristic of the so-called Lance Adams syndrome occurring following cardiorespiratory arrest and anoxic brain injury.